In the last tutorial, I showed you how to make halftones in Adobe Illustrator. And I want to expand on that and show you how to make halftone brushes. So just to recap really quick, make a circle, drag another one up, and scale it down a bit. And let's make sure it's vertically aligned by clicking this, which, which is our horizontal align, <laughs> alignment. It's horizontal alignment, but it's vertically aligned, if that makes any sense. And we use our blend tool, click on one, click on the other, and we need a few less in between. So we'll go here, double click on our blend tool, go to specified steps, and I'm gonna change this to say 30, see how that looks. That looks pretty good. And then let's go object expand to turn this into individual circles. And the next thing we wanna do is let's just option drag a copy over. Next, we'll get our blend tool again. Click on one, click on the other. Let's double click on our blend tool and do a few more in-betweens just to get the bottom filled in a little bit better there. So I think 34 in-betweens, that looks pretty good. And let's go object, expand, and we'll just turn that into a bunch of individual circles. And in our Pathfinder, let's click Unite. That'll turn it into one big compound path. The other thing I wanna do here is let's get our rectangle tool and just add some solid black to the bottom of that. And that is aligned to the edge of those circles, as you can see there. So let's take all that, click Unite again. Now here's the trick, here's what we need to do. So you see at the, at the center mark of these circles, let's drag a guide and let's go to the other side drag another guide and make sure it snaps to that. And the key here is what we want to do is make a repeat. So let's just draw a rectangle over this whole thing and make sure it snaps to those guides. And we select all that and go command seven to make a clipping mask. Now what happens is you'll see if I drag a copy over, it puts it into full repeat. So let me just get rid of that copy I just made. And we want to select this and click the merge tool and double click on it and just select uh, the black and select same fill color and then select inverse and just delete out the extra parts. So now we have this solid piece that repeat side to side. And in our brushes panel, we can drag that and create a new pattern brush. Click OK. And what you'll want to do in colorization, you can click Hue Shift. Click OK. Now it's a brush. So just to give an example of how this works, let me draw a circle. We can apply that half tone and give it a color. And let's open up our stroke window. And we can give this, say, a 0.5 stroke to make it smaller. 0.75 is a little bigger. And 1 is a little bit bigger. So there's lots of cool things you can do with this. Because now you can draw a path. And wherever that path goes, you can apply that halftone brush to it. So for instance, with this logo here, I can just take that, maybe I'll scale it down a little bit, and let me give it a nice color to complement that pink. And I'll just send it to the back, and select that pink, copy, paste in front, and then I'll select this 
half tone back here, go command seven. And now we have a cool half tone that bends around kind of any shape that we want. 